Yo, 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 PD Grizz is here. Talking sack envy, talking Swiss Army knives, talking trying to get my wheelchair in a position where I can work the damn camera. Okay, what do I got today? I got something a little different today. Today I've got a knife from the Koninklijk Landmacht, as far as I know how to pronounce it. That would be the Dutch Army, the KL in KL70. This is a 1970 Dutch Army knife, Dutch Army, Dutch Army knife for the Kloninklisch Landemacht, which I somehow means Dutch Army. But yeah, I see my uh, Landemacht, I guess Land uh, Force, so, and whatever Kloninklisch means. But anyway, cool little knife. I think these are leather handles. Uh, yeah, leather. Um, I, I was calling them fiber handles, but somebody suggested they're leather and, uh, that makes sense. It does remind me of the leather, like, uh, the stacked leather handles on old, uh, hammers and, uh, Bowie knives and stuff like that. But let's check this bad boy out. So we have no back tools. Got a cute little bail there. You know, that's adorable. Gotta love it. Moves freely. Stays out of the way. Fantastic. First tool we've got here is a stumpy little uh awl very short uh very sturdy still sharp will certainly do the job just a much shorter version than we are used to seeing uh boom the next interesting tool on this guy is the can opener blade uh, this is an old school can opener uh i mean you know, before uh, can openers, you just used a knife or a chisel and a hammer to open uh, sealed cans. So what you do with this is just jab it in there and then rock it around on this little uh, uh, nubby. And that's a uh, technical term, nubby. But you rock that around on the rim and, and work your way around. And I'm sure they're very effective. I haven't used one. I do plan on testing that out sometime, though. Then we've got... The requisite bottle opener, cap lifter, slash screwdriver. Notice there's no wire notch on these. Uh, a, later on, they switched to um, actual, and at 73, they switched to an Alox Army Knife. And then uh, in, I think, 83 or something like that, they actually switched to Victorinox knives for Dutch Army. So... But this one is made by a brand called Amifa, which you'll see on the main blade here. Amifa, A-M-E-F-A. And uh, they also made the uh, the earlier uh, Alox models that the Dutch Army used after these ones. But anyway, this is a very well-built, very cool little knife. I mean, I picked it up for like 20 bucks or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat it. It's just got cool history for it, cool build brass liners you know carbon steel very cool very freaking cool so if you get a chance check one out something a little different uh i like uh trying to see what takes on swiss army knives uh were perpetrated by various countries you know uh you get the chinese army knives that have chopsticks you know, your Swiss Army knife and French Army knives, of course, have corkscrews. You know, um, your American Army knife has a handgun. You know, every Army knife, they add their own little, you know, unique twist, you know, for, the, for that country. Obviously, oh, and I'm joking about all that. But I'm sure if there's any country that could figure out how to fit a gun onto an Army knife, it would be the, the sweet land of liberty of the I sing America. All right. Well, thanks for checking out my Dutch army knife and I'm about to go make a Dutch oven and I will see you in the next one. PD Grease out.